Happy 2016, everybody. It is Friday, and Happy New Year to you all. It's a wonderful day. It's sunny, but it's freezing outside. It's very different from last night. As you guys can see, it looks pretty nice out there. I got up about an hour or so ago. I went downstairs and got myself some orange juice, made some eggs for breakfast, and then I also had my protein shake. I got some vitamins down in me. I'm gonna go to the gym. Jason slipped over again, so he hopefully will be able to get with me. John went with a friend last night. He never came home. His car is still here, so I assume that he got picked up. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be get everything done that I possibly can. I'm so glad I'm now the weekend is starting because that means that I have a lot more time to get stuff done. I'm glad tomorrow's not Sunday because I feel like I would not have a lot that I can do because tomorrow, Saturday, I have to work at Macy's 11 to 8. Hopefully it won't feel like a long day, but hopefully not the same thing as my story in the last vlog, but we'll see how it goes. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I got back from a workout not too long ago. Sorry if I'm talking too quiet. I'll try to get a little closer to the laptop here. Just looking down at my arm. I was doing what's called dumbbell rows. If you're not familiar with that, it's like where you have dumbbells here and, and like you'll lean over put your hand on something say like the dumbbell rack or like a bench or something lean over get your arm your back arched and just pull it like this so you're working like your middle back and a little bit of your lats and stuff and your arms will get involved too obviously i got this little souvenir right here you see a little tear in the skin that is from holding 130 pound dumbbells in my hand. Just one, just one 130 pound dumbbell. Throwing that, holding this, and like the plates of the dumbbell were like right here. Okay, so here's here's the bar going through my hand, and on either side is the set of little plates that make up 130 pounds. And it was like rubbing against my skin right there. So I'm going like this, and every time I would go down and up, that little transition would grind against my hand, just rub against it, and so eventually it was like rubbing it raw, and then it started tearing the skin a little bit. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> I have Butterbeer here. Just kidding. It's just a Butterbeer cup. Souvenir cup that I got from uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter down in Universal Orlando. And inside of this, it's pink. My BCAAs, the amino acids drink. I'll have to give you guys the link a little bit later, because I was going to wait. You guys saw me a couple vlogs ago. It was the first time I really started drinking it. Now I will put up the link to the container that I get. It's like a container probably about this big, a little bit bigger than my head, that is full of powder. And so you just put one scoop of powder leveled off into about six to eight ounces of water. So I filled it up with water to about here and then put in the powder and so just stir it up. It takes a while to stir it up. It's good. I mean, it's watermelon and it's kind of tangy and it's like super carbonated. I had Jason, my youngest brother, have his first full cup of it today. Kind of wake him up, get him going before we went to the gym because he woke up much later than I did. He took his first sip and he's like, oh, bam, like in your face. It's not even like caffeine, it's just a lot of carbonation. And it's good for you. It's got tons of vitamin D. Being that it's super cold outside, it's a high of about 50. Kind of cold for around here, but earlier this morning it was like 35. So I was like, let's get this going. We want to warm our bodies up so that by the time we're at the gym, we're ready to go. My other brother, John, came in about 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, he went out partying with a high school friend of his that he hadn't seen in a while. So we all had a good time. And I think the gym kind of woke us up a little bit and also made us tired at the same time as Jason's actually back to sleep right now on our couch. So I'm gonna drink this and then I get a bowl of oatmeal. It's just kind of the fast acting carbs just to replenish the ones that I lost. <laughs> and I'm looking around to see what else is here. I had a small bowl full of blueberries and I just finished off my blueberries. I think I had like three bowls of that and it was gone. It was like one of those big cartons. It's about that big. And so I love blueberries. So if you ever want to send me a gift, send me some blueberries or some protein powder or something so I don't have to go and, and buy it on Amazon. But like I said, I will provide the link to the amino acids slash BCAAs to the description description below just so if you guys are interested it's not expensive at all I don't ever buy super expensive stuff as far as like food and everything unless I know that there's no other way Amazon is a very efficient reliable affordable way to maintain this lifestyle I'm gonna take a nap in a little while I'm just gonna finish eating this stuff I will definitely catch you guys later and something new. I would love to be able to start like different sections of my videos and stuff like because I do vlogs right now but I would love to do like instructional or informational slash entertaining videos so if you guys are interested in that like it can be anything just for example related to Disney or related to bodybuilding or working out just about me or about um, education, animals. I'm just naming off stuff off the top of my head that I'm interested in. Those are all things that I would love to talk about. Anything else seriously just comment below and I would love to hear from 
you guys. So I'm home for the night. I just got back from Starbucks. I got myself a chestnut pretty latte. And one word of advice, just to actually Starbucks, being humble here, not some big crazy idea. I actually tweeted about this, but I think that it'd be really cool to have little sugar crystals in the chestnut praline latte. I don't know, like maybe other drinks might benefit from it, but just for texture, because I think having little solid sugar crystals that melt in your mouth, they don't melt in the cup. They stay crystallized in the cup, but I think that having that little extra texture, almost like pixie dust, coming I mean, into your mouth when you drink this would be really nice. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I tweeted Starbucks and tweeted Starbucks my idea. It'd be really cool to have that, because I've experienced drinks where they're like that, and it was delightful. So I'm home for the night, like I said, getting some things done, and all I did really at Starbucks was track my workouts, because I had not done any of that this week, and it just helps me to literally stay on track, but also helps me to save time when I'm creating my schedule for the week. So I am trying to get my schedule together for this week. I'm going to hopefully do a little bit of that after this vlog is edited, probably also on Sunday, because I'm working at Macy's tomorrow for most of the day, and then I'm off on Sunday, so I didn't see any shifts I could pick up on Sunday, but I was talking to one of my better friends from college who moved back up to Pennsylvania. He and I had talked about moving out to California together, but then things just happened on his side that he wasn't able to, so now he just recently, I think it was yesterday, he texted me that he had applied for a role or a couple of roles down at Walt Disney World in Florida, actually for the same role that I had gotten an offer for back in October. It's kind of interesting the way that things work. I say all that because I might be moving down there at the end of the summer, so we'll see how that goes. It's pretty exciting, and also had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart with my brother, the one who actually lives here, just with different things going on with his life and stuff, because he's fresh out of the military still. I'm just kind of giving him a little advice, like to see where are you with your civilian life, because it's been quite the transition for him, I'm trying to get him to open up, and I even spoke with my mom, because I had to go and drop off something for my brother, at, which is where he lives, so I just took the opportunity, because they had come by to pick him up, because he'd spent the last, like, two weeks on his school break with us, so I took the opportunity to go over there and speak with them, and just try to get some advice, see where they're at with this whole thing, so it was a little bit of an eye-opener. It's a struggle for some people to transition out of the military life into the civilian life, especially if they're not used to it, so he's just trying to get his first real job, and I'm trying to give him a little bit of help just to usher him into it. Anyone who has ever been in the military, and if you're watching this, please comment below, because it would just be nice to see how was your transition from one way of living to a completely different way of living, because in my experience just with him, it's quite the life changer, really. Quite the shocker. Like, it'd be really nice to hear from anyone who has gone through that, but I'm gonna be calling it a night here, because uh, I want to be able to get this editing done and get it out uh, tomorrow morning, because after I'm done with Macy's, I'm not going to feel like doing much of any editing or any vlogging. Not that I don't like it, I love doing it, but I want to be able to just relax and stuff. So, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great night, great rest of your New Year's. So, see ya.